Uh, now the work begins. Uh, where to begin? I think we're going to start. It's, it's strange because I've already been through all this once this morning. But, uh, you know, the thing I did this morning will now help me with, with my painting this afternoon. Okay. So along this along this ridge there's different important tiles. And what I'll do is I'll put them in this little individual colour. So that's raw sienna. That's more red. That's got a bit of blue in it. A bit more with the blue. Uh, rather than just drawing one, rather than just doing one line of dark colour, just keep changing the. And it makes it a bit irregular, which is good too. This, this is a very good technique. This is also for doing tree bark. Just keep changing the colour. You do it a lot, it's well worth it. Keep changing. Alright, let me try a little bit. Right down. And then in there, there's a dark area because there's beams and that. I'll just put that in a little bit now without putting in too much detail. Right, now that chimney, I'm cheating a little bit. Well, I can. Dark side there. Lighter here. And the same for this roof line. Now I've extended this roof line because it was squished up there and I've extended it a little bit because I quite like adding a chimney or two. And like I discovered this morning, when I want, when I want to make a difference between the colour of this roof and the colour of this roof, I can just make one a little bit lighter with some, its main colour being in this case orange, cadmium orange. Cool. Let's make it a bit darker underneath there. That goes off at that angle with well, that is quite a straight angle. Put that back in. Alright, now some more details for you to there, but I'll wait till it dries. I'll wait till it dries. Uh, 
I mean, it looks like I'm just putting in um, a block of colour, but in fact there's a lot of different uh, reds in there. There's orange, there's red, and there's a bit of violet. But I'm just picking up a bit of blue, which I'm going to put in here. Just make that area there a little darker. Right. I still need to... Um, Need to make that pattern, that's a quite an interesting pattern there. So with a quite a lot of paint. I might have to do that a bit, it'd be better when I do that if it's dry. Since I've started. To see that, see that that's and again over here. I was talking to Sylvie, and I said, proposed that Sylvie also put this a bit of orange into uh, these these roofs. And it'll be interesting to see how she's managed. Thinner. The problem is I'm going to end up with the hard edges there, so here. At least I'm going back in. I don't want all that to be hard edges. And then leave that a little bit. Come back in again with the green on the tree. Just let that blend in for now, without uh, without forcing it. Okay. And then with a very light. It's very, very a light wash because I don't want to lose those lovely colours that are underneath. Uh, lose a couple of these edges. <laughs> that needs a bit more work. The edges are too hard. It's, Soften those edges a little bit. Right. Now I'm going to leave this for a little while until after I've done that and see how that see how that pops out. That, by the way, wants a bit blue in it. Oh, let's have a look at this tree. Take a bush. Right. to keep the top of this tree very light. As I come down a little bit greener, but leaving spaces for the things behind to pop out. And this tree has a strange purple to the top.
and then we're going to force that just a little bit more and then we're going to come straight in the green and we'll see how that see how it goes right. mid green made of uh, the sap green from the tube we've got the blue cadmium yellow added Make that a little lighter that starts to cover that seat that's there Not too much wet that wet round the uh, Yeah. And I come in now with the, the darker greens, but there's other plants there as well. I mean, uh, you could go in there with a, a grey to really make that look like the base of a tree but then the thing is that sat in front of it is some quite bright greens <laughs> Make those greens pop out. Just gonna add, try and add anyway, the tiniest bits of red. Magic. It's magic. And Swap that down a little bit. Oh. Yeah. And so it's not. Let's just try a tiny bit of orange in there as well. You've got it straight orange, it'll, it'll sit on top of the green. Now, have too much there because that grass then comes around there. It's like the base lawn of that. And then I have some more of this path. Good. There and that hasn't worked too well. <laughs> Green there is. I'll soften that down a little after. And now, I just want to put these stones at the same time, show that they've got. Light on the top. It's a lovely wind blowing in from behind me, which is uh, one keeping me cool, and two hopefully trying this. French a bit funny. The lady behind me was nice enough, but she 
once she saw us talking into her microphone, she kept looking over and you know, looking over. And she was working, you know, it was very quiet, didn't want to upset her. Once she got visitors, she was bloody ranting on. She won't be allowed. Now, I always, when I put in any kind of branch, pull them in and just. Move the ends off. Works. You don't want them to be true. Well, there's dark areas and light areas. The light comes in and touches that. Yeah. Take me bush, take me bush out my mouth, take me bush and wet that, and then wet that, wet that. And then I can go in. It's not often there. Uh, for me, ideas work. I don't know if this comes up. I've got a big blob of le lemon yellow there. And I, that's what I mix with all the greens as I'm putting them in. It's got it really nice and nice sunlit leaves. Of course, you've got to have the darker ones behind them. And the two greens are together. Maybe this rig is not the best wash. This is a rig when it's sort of cut off. That's better. Cut off the end and it, and it makes it a bit more scratchy. Thing about this, you can wet it and paint at the same time. This is um, quite good paper. This I'll, I'll put up what paper it is when. I, this is paper I use for my commissions. I don't use this all the time. It's a bit more expensive than the, it's about the most expensive I can buy, really, without being, you know, getting handmade paper by virgin nuns in a Romanian monastery somewhere. Careful not to overwork that. Um, paint into these rocks. <laughs> C'est le boulot. Il faut, il faut, il y a beaucoup de techniques, beaucoup de la chercher, mouiller. Voilà, c'est ça. C'est l'eau que je maîtrise. Ça, c'est le cils que j'ai fait ce matin. Ah oui. Oh. Il est pas mal là. Oui, mais comme ça, quand j'ai fait ça, je ne sais pas depuis mes fois. Ah oui. J'ai fait ça. J'ai connu maintenant un peu mon palette. Ouais. J'essaie des choses qui marchent, des choses qui ne marchent pas. Ouais. Parce que pour moi, le, par exemple, la porte ne marche pas. Il faut faire ça, faire quelque chose d'autre. Euh, oui, j'aime bien que je veux le petit piste. Je préfère que ça aille encore un peu. Ouais. 
Je vais mettre le, le petit siège. Simon, une pierre. Un petit peu plus gros. Petit peu plus gros. Il a deux, tunes, deux tunes, tunes. 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 C'est un plaisir que ce soit un plaisir. Ouais. Ben voilà. Et ben c'est bien, continuez bien. Merci. Mm. It's really hard to find a medium. Mm. Value. So in here. Lots of rotting and broken colour. There's detail in that wood, but the best I can do is to change the, the tone of the teal. Okay. Getting busy now. Be busy tomorrow. There'll be everybody here tomorrow. Tomorrow will be complicated because uh, you never know what to paint in front of people. So, what I want people to, to see is that's a door that's open. I'm squinting like a loony. That's a piece of gunk on me. That's the wall. The thing is, it, it actually goes off into there as well. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it comes back to tree with, with grass and things, obviously. Yes, the bottom of those barrels. And then here, when Matey moves his backside out of the way because he's blocking the door, but here, there's, there's plants in there where they're over behind across the road kind of thing. All kinds of stuff over there. And then there's a, um, a cellar door. And that goes into the road. Drops down into there. People hear me talking to me, so I was going to wander off. They don't realize I've got a video going. <laughs> 